Forgive me, I certainly don't want anyone here to think that I am shilling for uh, Kay Burley and Co at Sky News or ITV for that matter, but I just want to ask your views on this particular thing. Is it quite useful now for the police in the midst of what many are saying was not the best investigation and mistakes made, uh, investigations will be done into the investigation, is it quite useful for them to now hide behind the press and make the press enemy number one, oh, you were sick, you were calling the family afterwards, whereas uh, actually the police got a lot wrong as well, didn't they? The police got some things uh, wrong. Um, their areas of judgment call, though, professional judgment call, rather than uh, absolute black and white, you know, you got it wrong, you didn't do this and you should have done it or something like that. Um, but the media, um, they've got the two... Uh, two outlets that are sort of in the firing line of Ofcom. Um, but I think most of the problem actually came from social media. Um, and we know that that's a wild west. Uh, it was the first time I've ever seen anything like mm. this, where people have been flocking to the scene and doing their own detectives, uh, detective work and coming up with various theories ranging from the fairly sensible through to the utterly crackpot. Um, mm. And so I think it's maybe the first example of what we're going to come to expect in the future, and the police need to learn from it. I don't think they're hiding behind the media. Mm. Uh, both the police and the media have got questions to answer. Uh, I wouldn't say that they're mistakes that have been made. They're judgments calls that have been made. Uh, some of the media stuff as well, certainly from the mainstream uh, yeah. media out well, there. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, course. Peter, can I, can I ask you this? And, you know, I, I'm a, I like to think I'm a relatively straightforward guy, so I can take it on the chin if you uh, give me an honest answer back, really. You know, do you think that people like me shouldn't have been hammering the police as much as when it got to, I think, day 20-odd, right? And, uh, you know, she was, missing for, she was missing for three weeks. I think it was at the three-week mark where I made... A bit of a decision where I thought actually I, I really think the police have made mistakes here and that was singularly based on the fact that we hadn't found Nicola. Um, do you think I was too harsh on the police? I don't think it's valid to look at something and say this has been going on for X amount of days or weeks um, and we haven't got a result yet therefore the police have messed something up. Um, you can have inquiries where there simply is no evidence to be found. You can have inquiries where the evidence that's there to be found is going to take some considerable time to find for a variety of reasons. Um, and you can have inquiries where the evidence is uh, jumping up, screaming at the first officers on the scene, and so it's solved, really, before anybody's done anything at all. And so there's a whole range of inquiries, and unless you're an investigator, you're not really in a position to estimate what's going on. And even I, as an investigator out here in the public sector, I've got no access to all the information the police have. I'm trying to second guess to a certain extent, read between the lines from what they're saying and what they're doing, um, and try and understand what that actually means is likely to be happening uh, okay. in their incident.